Hi, I'm Joan Burge, founder and CEO of Office Dynamics International. We have been the leader in training and development for administrative professionals and executive assistants since 1990. Today I want to share with you a special message um, from a program that I teach. It's called the Star Achievement Series. It's a very in-depth training program for executive and administrative assistants. And there's an important piece in here that um, I really like and I just wanted to tell you about these strategies. It has to do with helping your manager maintain a competitive edge. You know, your managers always need to be in the forefront. They need to shine. And whatever you can do to help them shine is going to make you look good and also build a stronger partnership. So what I've done is I'm just picking out the best tips that I have to offer. I actually have three pages of tips, but I'm going to share with you some of my favorites that I think are very important. So first of all, the main category is to know your industry. And a few pieces under that are to know your competition. Learn about you know, your competitors, whether you know, in the same industry, and what do they do? How do they differentiate? And being able to share that information with your executive is important. It will also help you be knowledgeable when you're talking to outsiders. One of my favorites is to um, email links of articles or clip articles and give those to your manager that are pertinent to uh, topics of interest to them or maybe their projects that they're working on. This really makes you shine. For me, I don't expect my assistant to actually work outside of work. However, Jasmine knows so many of my interests, and I'm really impressed when she will come in in the morning and bring me an article from a magazine that she saw that pertains to something I'm working on or something I'm interested in. She often will send emails to me with links of articles that pertain to what I'm working on. This truly makes an assistant stand out and shine. Again, when you do this, you're going to create more synergy with your executive. The second main category is to be a professional agent of your company. I have several pieces, again, under this, but one in particular is to create good feelings with everyone in your organization. Remember, you're representing your executive. You are the liaison. And so you can't be picky about who you're going to have good feelings with, not if you're a star assistant. You learn to get along with everyone in the organization. You create good feelings. Um, you never know when you're going to have to reach out and depend on others to help you and your executive be successful. The third main category talk is about follow-up. So there is so much information going on, and there are so many tasks that your executives delegate to you is um, the one in particular, give your manager a status update on follow-up items. Managers really don't like to have to go out to their assistant's work area all the time and ask about, well, where is this and where is that and how are you moving along on this project? If you're a star assistant, you're offering up status updates. And actually, it should be a daily event, whether it's in an email or verbally, um, you might wonder, well, I'm getting the work done. Why are you always asking me if I'm getting it done? But you see, from an executive's perspective, when you release something and you're giving that information, you're delegating a task to your assistant, you're kind of wondering in the process, you know, where is it? It doesn't mean that you don't trust your assistant. It just means you're kind of wondering if things are moving along. And also, there are times when I can't move on to the second step until I know Jasmine has taken care of the first step. So just initiate the status updates. The next main category is to be a master of time. Uh, continually looking for ways to improve your processes, but especially meeting deadlines is important, establishing deadline dates, um, some other ideas is to maintain an organized calendar. Another great tip is remember to remind your managers of meetings and important phone calls maybe that they have coming up. It's really easy in today's world with everything we have going on to forget that you have this conference call in 10 minutes. In fact, this happened to me the other day. 
I knew when I came into the office in the morning that I had a 10 o'clock conference call with a client. And, um, but what happened is I got very busy. I was focused on a project and an upcoming speech, actually, that I was going to be doing with a client. And so um, it was five minutes to 10, and I decided to pick up the phone because I wanted to ask the, the client something. And as soon as I said hello and started talking to the client, Jasmine came in and she said, Joan, your 10 o'clock conference call, and she's kind of waving at me. So do you see if you can go in and give those little reminders, that would be a great thing to do. The next main category is to raise the bar. Don't be satisfied with where you are. No matter how great you are, when your executive sees you raising the bar on your own, when your executive sees you growing and stretching and becoming more knowledgeable, they're going to want to build a stronger partnership with you. And that all benefits you in the end. And a part of that is for you to read a variety of materials. What, what do you read, by the way? I hope just not a lot of romance novels. I hope you are reading different um, trade magazines and periodicals. Uh, you should even be reading something like Success Magazine. I highly recommend it. You don't have to be an entrepreneur to read Success Magazine. There are outstanding ideas that will help you shine in your profession. My other favorite is USA Today. I highly recommend that you read USA Today on a regular basis. Again, think about if you want to help your manager maintain a competitive edge, and help them shine, you need to be providing information. And how do you know what's going on in the world if you're not paying any attention and, and listening to the news or reading some other magazines or newspapers other than your local paper? The last main category I have in here is to stay current on technology, which I'm sure many of you do. But it's more challenging today. There are so many different devices and programs and apps. It just, it's endless. And I know there are managers that are very tech savvy and independent. And then there's executives like me. There's a lot of executives who just don't have time to look into all of that and stay on top of things. And also for me, technology is a little bit of a stretch. Um, I really like the interpersonal and human moments. So obviously part of your job is to stay on top of the technology help your executive learn the different uh, tools that are available. I love it when Jasmine comes in and she says, hey Joan, here's this app, let's put it on your iPad and sometimes she'll even help me. So all of these things are going to make you shine, but ultimately you're helping your executive shine. And when you do that, they're going to want to have a stronger partnership with you. So that's my advice on this topic. If you would like more information and would like to learn about my STAR Achievement Series, go to officedynamics.com. Thank you.